the church in the sea. <laughs> I think you can probably guess why it's got its name. Um, Quivan Church uh, on the uh, west coast of Anglesey. Used to be on an island and when the tide's in now it's completely cut off. Uh, and I've come on probably the windiest day of the year when the sun's coming out, which is perfect. Um, <laughs> so, uh, I've been sat in the car for about an hour, hour and a half in absolute honking rain, really. So I'll just spin you a little bit. So, um, rain was absolutely chucking it down. Rain, hail, sleet, the lot. And it's cleared and it's heading. You can probably see the darkness over there. It's heading that way. And behind it is sun and blue sky. And what I'm doing now, because the sun is shining, uh, is going to take a photograph of the church. So I'm up high um, to try and give the kind of view that the church is surrounded with water. Unfortunately, the tide's not due in fully till about seven o'clock tonight, by which time it'll be pitch black. Um, but the light is now shining on that church. So I'll show you the uh, what I'm up to. Just a Fairly simple composition. In fact, I need to move that slightly just to get the church on the rule of thirds. Um, but I'm on F11. I've focused on the church. I've got my polarizer in. You can, you'll can you see that's quite dark because the sky is incredibly bright. So what I really need is the sun to be a bit further around, which kind of time will, time will make it happen, or to shine a bit more on this church. Now, at the moment, it's shining kind of from that angle. I need to shine a bit more from that angle. So it's just a, a matter of patience. Um, but the key is to get the, the church. I've seen this church photograph quite a lot of times, so I'm trying to do something, get something a bit different. So I'm going to take some shots from up here. And then, oh, there's the sun shining on the church. So let's see what we can get. See how that works out. So there's just, there's just enough light on the side of the church there, hopefully. Still quite bright in the sky up there, but uh, what I might do when I've stopped talking to you is bracket a couple of shots, expose one for the church and one for the sky. Um, but as I was saying, I'm going to take some images from up here and then get down at the water's edge because I want to try some images. I, I walked, I parked uh, over near where that house is and I walked along the beach and there's some nice kind of shapes in the beach and uh, kind of some, uh, kind of shapes of stones and whatnot. So uh, do something up here and then go down there. But uh, the, the clouds are scudding across so quickly that it's going dark and then going bright. So the, the ideal combination is sunshine on the church and darkness in the background. But uh, you know, <laughs> have to take what we're given. There's some nice lights coming and going because, um, as I mentioned earlier, because the clouds are moving so quickly. It, it's a, where I'm stood now is a little bit sheltered, but. Kind of out, out in the open, uh, you can really feel the wind. So when I'm down on the beach later, you'll probably be able to hear it blowing on the microphone. Um, but it's kind of 50, 60 mile an hour gusts coming here. And uh, behind the church, I actually see some kind of big waves crashing against the shore. But there's some nice light coming and going, so I'm persever persevering with it. Uh, just a question of waiting for the clouds to kind of move out of the way. Uh, I've dropped in um, graduated filter just to take some of the brightness out of the sky. Um, but one of the things I want, was going to say is um, one of the advantages of coming up high and looking down on the beach is you can start to see shapes that might be nice for um, compositions later on. So uh, when you're down on the beach obviously you can see stuff close at, at your feet but get the opportunity to come up high you can start to see curves and lines from a high from higher up it's almost a little bit like using kind of google maps to look at the mountains uh, so you can't always do it obviously because not every beach has got a, a vantage point but if you can if you're on the beach um, before you start kind of setting up see if you can get up somewhere high and look down on the beach and just see where there might be some shapes so i can see here there's there's rocks with a leading line but imagine what my eye has been focusing on is um, there's a kind of a curve where the uh, the waves are coming in that leads, appears from here to lead around towards the church. So maybe a bit later, I'll position myself, sorry about this really ugly fence, um, position myself down there and use that line. Uh, but I can see another one over there as well, heading that direction. So it depends what the light does, but just a, just a, a hint, if you can get up high and have a look. There comes the sun again. So hopefully you'll be able to see it shining on the church, get, get that light shining on the church. And it's, uh, it's, here we go. So I can feel it, shining on me now 
So hopefully it's going to, any second now, hit the church. So I'll get myself set up, get my exposure sorted. When I say any second now, it's starting to hit the church. So hopefully you can kind of see the changing light on the church. Give a few more seconds for the light to build. So it's really making a difference now. Hopefully it picks up on the GoPro. There we go, look at that. Yeah, look at that, look, 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 look. It's really shining now on the church. So let's have a look at that. Let's see how that goes. Let's see, I'm just it's probably still a bit, might bracket that just for the light on the church. Well, I'm gonna say bracket. I'll take one exposure on the church and then one exposure on the clouds. But yeah, look, the light's really shining on the church now, which is what I wanted. And I'm just going to try a little bit of a different composition by zooming in on the church a bit. Yeah, that's quite nice. Bit of light on the church. Just going to underexpose a little bit to make the most of that light. But it's quite, it's nice that the, 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 the sun is at quite a nice angle. Um, tides come in a, a bit more. Um, so good, yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty pleased with that. Sorry, I won't shine you right. But yeah, look, 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 look now. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Perfect, perfect, come on. Let's have a look at that. So we've got the combination there of the light shining on the church, but the, this light not shining on me, so it's gone behind the clouds. So might be, that, be, that might be nice, it's getting that balance right. Well, I've come down onto beach level. So previously I was up there somewhere. Um, and I, I mentioned rocks that I could see with a leading line. So uh, got these rocks here with um, seaweed on, leading the eye. So hopefully you can see that leads the eye almost directly to the church. <laughs> and I'm glad I got my wellies on because uh, the, the wind's pushing the, the waves in. So occasionally these rocks are uncovered, but as is about to happen, the water is rushing in and uh, going over my feet. So <laughs> show you the, the, the composition I'm working on. So brighten that for you. So I've gone portrait, obviously, because of these rocks on the, my rule of thirds that are taking the eye round towards the church. Now that's obviously overexposed, uh, so you can see. But what I'm waiting for, there's lovely clouds in the, uh, in the background there. And uh, I'm trying to get my composition right so that when the sun shines, so you can, you can see the sun, the big, stinking clouds just turned up um, but when the sun shines out onto the onto the church what I'm hoping for is a bit of light on these rocks light on the church and a lovely kind of composition and hopefully some of the water movement movements as well um, so that's what I'm waiting for but uh, fortunately it's windy I, I, you, you might be able to already hear there's a bit more wind noise because um, I'm down I'm not as sheltered as I was over but as soon as that light comes out, I'm ready for action. <laughs> I'm sinking into the sand. Right, here we go, I think. <laughs> Since I last spoke to you, the wind's picked up even more and some big waves are pushing in and it's almost over the top of the Occasionally, just shoots in. Um, but I think there's about to be a bit of light on that church. And I've, I've, got, I've moved slightly just to alter the composition so I'll just smooth slightly so the church is on my rule of thirds to give a nice balanced composition but uh, <laughs> I'm battling with the um, the waves a bit because I guess it's got to that depth the tide has got to the depth where the the, the waves are just coming in and uh, sinking some of my rocks so the rocks I was using for composition um, have disappeared <laughs> slightly um, but every now and then it rushes back out again so it's a matter of timing but I can see hopefully you can see that there's some nice brightness coming through there and what I'm hoping for is some of that going to shine here I'm just going to turn live view off because it absolutely wastes battery but uh, come on come on weather gods um, there's some big big waves out there so I, I guess soon uh, I'll have to move so it's a race between the tide and the clouds and at the moment it looks like the tide's going to win. One of the things you have to be conscious of, of when you're shooting on sand, when the tide comes in, um, it uh, whips around the bottom of your tripod 
so it can uh, kind of undermine the, tr the tripod a bit and make the tripod move so your composition changes. So come on, come on, come on, come on. Need some light on that church. Come on, work with me. I'm not, in, I'm not, you know, I'm, it's not like it's crashing over my chest or anything, um, but uh, it's, it's making, it's making for a bit of fun. It's gone dark, it's gone darker now, so I'll go and come back if I get some light. I had to abandon my previous spot because the uh, waves were starting to get close to the top of my wally, so I've moved, I was over there, I've moved around, and as you can see, lots of cloud has built up, but there's this big gap coming, and I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that's going to move behind the church. Rain falling in the background. Got rocks and reflection in the foreground. So I had to, <laughs> it started to pour down, so I had to put my uh, um, uh, camera cover on as well, but e even then it got a bit wet. So here's my composition. Got that rock, which is this rock here, and the church on a rule of thirds. And then if I go to the correct exposure, for, I'm exposing for that um, gap in the clouds. It's going to give a very dark uh, reading, uh, kind of almost a silhouette of the church, but I don't mind because when the clouds have moved behind the church, what I'll get is a, a, an exact silhouette, but hopefully the reflection with that rock there. So it's just a question of me waiting for that to move about there. And I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it doesn't kind of disintegrate or, or whatever <laughs> but it looks <laughs> oh, looks pretty gloomy there so I'm going to take an image now as a as a kind of banker because I quite like I, I like the way that there's a reflection uh, is going on um, and it hopefully kind of gives a sense of kind of stormy weather and, and gloomy weather um, <laughs> oh that's there's a there's a bit of cloud building so i'm gonna wait a few might take a few minutes well if you look look in that direction you see the sweep of the rain that came over me um and passed that way there's hailstones mixed in with it as well so it's all good fun <laughs> so that cloud the gap in the cloud has has finally moved around behind the church so um <laughs> gotta get the timing right now so i i, I like the I like the composition, uh, I like the colours, I like the reflection, I like the fact this stone balances the church, I like the kind of gloominess, but I'm just, what I'm hoping for, uh, some of these waves are blowing in close enough. So I've got about a second of exposure, um, so if I can get the timing right and get the waves coming in, oh it's quite a big one now, so hopefully the waves will make it as far as this rock, and then I get a the bonus of, no, I don't think that one is, maybe the next one, uh, the bonus of the swirl of the waves. Uh, I've got my uh, um, graduated filter in just to take that brightness out a little bit. But come on, I need one of these big waves to, to, to get to this, this rock. Let's see if this one does. I'm ready to shoot. I'm ready to go. The clouds are in the right place. Come on, one of these big ones. Right, this one. I think this one's going to do it. Just about. Maybe not enough. Maybe not enough. But I'll take it anyway. Oh, it's a bigger one coming in. So it's just, it's, it's a nice, um, it's nice to get that balance with the, the waves swirling uh, and the clouds swirling. It's quite artistic. <laughs> artistic. What am I talking about? Blimey. <laughs> getting all kind of arty farty um, but there's big waves out crashing out there so come on come on do us a favor uh, it looks like this cloud's going to sweep away as well which would be nice because it's it's the sunset might get a nice sunset and I, I might head over the other side of the church a, a bit um, just for the last bit of the sunset but <laughs> The wind is, um, it's more exposed down here, so I'm, I'm feeling the wind a bit more. Come on. <laughs> it'd, 
Before I started talking to you, almost every wave was hitting these rocks. As soon as I start talking to you. Right, come on, there we go. There we go. No, we don't. No, we don't. Oh, maybe we do. No, we don't. Tiny little one. Right, there we go. This is it. This is the one. <laughs> I've only seen a couple of other people the whole time I've been here. So I'm just going to show you the clouds over there now. It's just black. Absolutely black. Look at that. Right, I'm taking one. I'm, re I'm really liking the fact that the, the clouds are like that behind the, the church, but I really want these waves to come in. As well, the weather gods are smiling. Look at that. <laughs> oh, the weather. Oh, you beauty. The sun is just around, almost around the corner. And it's shining on the church and shining on these rocks, shining on the sea, shining on those clouds. Perfect. It's, a, it's amazing. It's, it's like five, ten minutes ago, it was pouring down and uh, I was having real troubles. But now, just move that around a little bit. Now, it seems to be coming together for me. Don't mess up that. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna move, I'm gonna move, gonna move, 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 move. Sorry about this, but I am trying to get stuff done while talking to you at the same time. Right, sorry about that, needed to move, needed to move, because I want to get those colours sorted. Look at that. Look at the light shining now. Look at the light shining now. <laughs> right, going to move again. Sorry, I hope you don't mind me doing this, but it it, it does kind of demonstrate kind of the need to react quickly to stuff. Hang on, need to <laughs> get that sorted like that. Get that sorted like that. That is really... Odd angle. But that's going quite well. That is going quite well. Hope you agree. The sun is just coming under the clouds and it's shining on the church. In fact, I'm going to try one. Can't get a composition there because of that rock. Don't want that rock cussing me off. Try and get a composition that... Oh, sorry, I need to tighten my stuff up. So. <laughs> sorry about that. So that was all a bit of a panic. But there's the church. Rocks with lights on. I've got an exposure. It's um, shutter speed of two seconds. Let's see what that looks like. So, taking that two seconds, see what that looks like. I'm pretty pleased with that. Pretty pleased with those. Let's have a look at those. So, hopefully, this is a good sign of things to come. Um, but it's a good, it's a good lesson in hanging around because when it was, <laughs> I was going to say something rude then. When it was pouring down, I was really stuck um, for things to do, and I put my hood up, put my cover on the camera. I thought that maybe I'll go, but I'm hanging around. In fact, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to turn off, go and try and get around there a bit, see if I can get a shot across that way. Or maybe I should go around the other side of the church. What should I do? I'm not sure. This is one of the uh, conflicts. I'll talk to you while I'm, I'm moving. One of the conflicts of uh, ooh, trying to make the most of a kind of changing environment is ooh, you're never really sure whether you should go one way or the or the other and I'm just trying I'm, I'm looking for the composition that way looking for the composition I've also got the challenge of trying to find somewhere I can stand safely because this seaweed is oi, 
slippy. There we go. Let's see if we can get a composition. I'm in a rock pool that's quite deep. <laughs> right. I've gone up a blind alley, I think. Have I gone up a blind alley? No. Let's try here. Ooh. Right, let's see how we get a composition here. I'm just looking at the clouds. I'm working, right, working, working, working. Going the other way. There we go, composition. Right, what have I done? I set up with these rocks in the foreground, so leading across. <laughs> right, now I've got the church there on my rule of thirds I've got these rocks coming across to the church so there's, there's a sh shape like this and I'm hoping that works as a composition I think it does can't really tell until kind of I get it and see it on a big screen but there's nice light on the church I've got a two second exposure and there's some lovely clouds oh that's gone super dark uh, there's some lovely clouds coming across in the background. See those clouds and the light. So what I'm hoping is get that light moving around. So I'm going to turn off for a second while I get myself properly sorted because that was a <laughs> bit higgledy-piggledy. But here we go. Look at those lovely clouds behind the church. That is quite nice. And I'm going to try and get a composition that shows the clouds. So um, I've got these rocks leading the eye round in a kind of curve but it's all about the clouds um, I'm focused on the church I'm on F22 but I, the, re the reason I'm on F22 is um, I just want to get some I've, eek <laughs> I've got <laughs> I've got um, uh, a a graduated filter and just take some of the darkness out, uh, uh, some of the brightness out of the clouds. But I just want to have a long shutter speed to get some of the movement in the water. So rather than put another filter in, because it's quite hard to put filters in when you stood kind of ankle deep in water, I've just gone to F22 uh, to give me the uh, give, give me the kind of um, uh, time to play with those waves a little bit. But that's 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 lovely, isn't it? Look at the lovely kind of cream colour clouds behind the church. Quite pleased with though the way that's turned out. All that, what I didn't need now is just a, a wave to come and um, be a bit kind of boisterous. <laughs> Can waves be boisterous um, on those rocks? And then I'll be happy. Well I'm happy anyway because um, I think I've got a pretty decent shot there. So Let's wait for a wave. Right, once I've done this, I'm going to go over the other side of the church because I'm anticipating some nice colour behind the church in the sky. So I'll do this when a wave comes in and then I think the next time I speak to you, be over the other side. I've come round to the other side of the church and there's, there's now no comfort from the wind, so it's freezing, um, but the sun is down beautiful look at that look at the pink in the sky over there um, but I'm focusing on the church and there's these rocks here hopefully you can pick those up I don't know if it's too dark um, and what I'm doing is I've got a uh, composition with just the, the rocks down in the bottom kind of left right hand corner sorry church obviously here and um, perfect example waiting for the waves um, just to break around those rocks so maybe wait for the next one so hopefully you can see what's happening on the back of the camera there so a bit of action oh god there's a big one coming in now <laughs> bit of wave action around those rocks and hopefully making it oh big one surfs up <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!
<laughs> um, so, sun is down. I think the best of the colour is, is gone. Um, but I'm going to hang on just for a few more minutes because uh, you, you often find that the best light uh, in the sky comes just after 10 or 15 minutes after sunset. Um, and I'm, I'm not rushing off anywhere. Um, so, going to persevere. So, all done. Um, took a few last shots, which I I'll, I'll, I'll might post at the end, but there's the church. I don't know if you can still see that. And nobody else parked up, just me, all by myself. So, just a few things to do. Got to pack my gear away. Well, got to clean my gear, then pack it away. Just So, obviously, I've been at... Um, uh, I've had my tripod in salt water, sea water, so the two don't mix. So, always important just to give stuff a clean and a spray a WD-40 or, or whatever before you pack it away um pack that away have a drink drive home job's done so hope you enjoyed the uh trip to quivan church in anglesey uh, always look forward to comments and uh, thumbs up likes all that type of stuff really appreciate it and um, i'll see you on the next one listen to that wind cool